Oh wait, what the heck? Oh no. I can't open it, can I? What? Oh no, dude. What's going on? This is like a huge nightmare. Oh, this is a huge no what? What's going on here? Oh no, stop. Where'd he go? Stop! What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, Awakened Toast here, and today, welcome back to some more Hello Neighbor Search and Rescue VR on the channel. And guys, this is going to be the fourth episode of this series, which it doesn't even feel like that much time has already gone by within uh, Hello Neighbor VR, but seriously, we have been getting so much work done. We've already went and found eight of the 13 hidden coins, and we went and collected those and threw them into this beautiful blue burb over here. And I'm hoping maybe in this episode, we may be able to find all of the coins here within the game and also on top of that if you guys did not watch the last episode we got so much work done in terms of like different puzzles and also other puzzles started so what i want to do today is i definitely want to go back to the nerdy kid and i want to basically go back up to the top roof because i saw after editing there was something that i missed and it was so easy with the portrait puzzle that i was trying to go and finish basically there was like a, a poster or whatever basically a portrait that was hidden behind the chair that it didn't see my vr headset but it made it super easy to see when I was actually watching the recording. So that is what we're going to be starting off with today. If you guys do end up enjoying this video and like to see more content made on Hello Neighbor, then be sure to smash that motherfucking thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new so you guys can stay up to date with all of your content we post. But other than that, guys, I think it's about time we go to hop into this beautiful world of Hello Neighbor. So let's go and switch back over to the man, the myth, the legend. Because I think if I recall... We were in the party room. Oh, dear gosh. My hands are all... Blah, 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 blah. Get me out of here. Here, blah, blah. Oh, God. Move hand. Okay, we got this. We got this. Let's just go and push it open. And that is the beauty of virtual reality. Okay, so he's actually still got the items saved on these characters. I'm curious if I want to go and actually finish this today or if we should possibly... If we should possibly go and just do that other portrait puzzle first and see what we can get from it. And I don't think you can grab... <gasps> Nope, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. I'm pretty sure I just heard him. Come on. Please? I could have swore I heard the man there. And I was terrified. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like 90% certain that I heard him walking. Okay, let's just jump down. And we're gonna climb back across. Because we need to go and make our way back to that other puzzle. But my only question is, how am I gonna be able to get back over there? Because I don't think I can climb back up from this area. Wait a minute. We, we might have to go all the way down. Let's see. Actually, now we're actually in the yard. Okay, wait a minute. We might be able to find some stuff over here. So I might actually just look around for a little bit and see what we can find. Anything inside the mailbox? <gasps> we got a beautiful shiny doubloon. That's what we got, baby. Let's go. Shiny doubloon time. And that takes me back to the front yard. Or not front yard, but the, the front of the house. Oh god. Ding dong ditch. Ding dong ditch. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, go, go. Is there anything in the box? Nope. Looks like just some plants. Some of the plants and stuff. Yeah, I don't think I can get through this door yet. Um, we got a little rocket thing there. We can go through this window, though. Wait, does this allow me to get back to, like, the main floor? Yeah. Oh, I see now. Okay, this allows me to get right back into the house. That makes so much sense. Okay, sweet. So now we got like a little loop around that lets us go back to the roof this way. Nice stuff. Okay, well, we got to go and start our climbing simulator, boys. It's time for us to go and make our way up to the dippy dippy top. Go and swap around. Because I need to go back to the roof and go and get this puzzle finished. That's literally what I've been intending like this entire time of like waiting is like I've been just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting to get back on Hello Neighbor to go and finish this puzzle because when I watched that video back when I was editing it, I knew I missed something. I was like, it can't be that difficult. It has to be over here. And literally I missed it in the most obvious spot possible. If I remember correctly, this was cap, feather, and then trash can. And literally right behind this, I assume, is the trash can. I cannot believe I didn't see it the first time, but this should hopefully fix it. And now we got this open. Nice. Let's go see what's on the roofy roof, baby. What do we got up here? 
Oh, we got another, like, other part of the clubhouse that we can go up to? Oh, now this is what I'm talking about. We got a freaking hideout up here, and also not to mention, we got the beautiful gold doubloon. That is two of, actually, yeah, I think two of the five that we actually need for the day, which is amazing. Is there anything else that we can grab? Or maybe look through here? Dang it, dude. I wish you could look through this and just see, like, the other horizon. But this, this looks gorgeous, man. To be able to see, like, all of this here within, uh, here within Hello Neighbor is just absolutely amazing. I love it. This is definitely, like, one of the things I just love about VR games like this is being able just to see this in the first person and just being a 3D stereoscopic environment where you can see all of this within your headset, man. Like, this is just gorgeous. Like, I know for some people, they're like, oh, man, the graphics look like PS2. But, like, to me, I feel like that's just the art style of Hello Neighbor. And I love it, man. Like, I've always loved the way Hello Neighbor looked. So, I'm so happy that they actually brought this into VR, man. Like, it just feels like it was meant to be a VR game. All right, down we go. Gotta go and jump back down. And now, we gotta figure out how to do this other puzzle. Because I have no idea how this one's gonna work. Okay, just make sure that we don't slip off the building here. And also, how are we gonna get back? Because that's supposed to be over here, is it not? Unless, can I just fall the... Ooh, that's gonna be a little scary. Um, maybe I just go back down to this, and then I climb over. Okay, it sounds like the neighbor is actually in the other room watching television. So we should be fine for the most part to go and like mess around over here. So let's go and climb up to the dippy dippy top. And let's see if we can finish this puzzle too, because this would be awesome if we could potentially get the... <gasps> the party hat! Oh my gosh, wait a minute, how do we miss that last time? So we need to put the party hat on the girl. We need to finish this photo, dude. So let's go and throw the party hat on... I think it was this one, right? Or am I tripping? So we got the boy with the bow tie. We got the girl, which was over here, I think, if I remember correctly. She's got... Oh, it's the mom with the party hat. Okay, so we'll put the party hat on the mom. And then what does the boy have? I just gotta make sure that Mr. Man doesn't come to visit us. I would hope he doesn't come and mess everything up. Oh, we gotta get a mustache! But where are we gonna find the beautiful mustache for the neighbor here? Where would a mustache be hiding? If I were a mustache, where would I be? Is there anything up top? I don't think so. Anything up here, maybe? Oh, wait, this might be a dead giveaway. Right on the photo! Oh my god, I literally would've never saw that. That is amazing. Okay, so then we'll go and put the mustache on this man. And let's try the picture and see if we got this puzzle finished. All right, let's do it. Say cheese. And now we got oh, the final key. I think this is like literally the last key that we need. Oh my God, there's no way. This is amazing. Good news. The fact that we were actually able to go and get our final key, this is great. Okay, we need to go over this and we'll just go and drop down. I got to climb with one hand. It's a little bit scary. Come on. Okay, this is the tough part about VR, is like if you have something in your other hand, you literally have to make do with your one that you got here. Okay, there we go, awesome. And we should be good to rock and roll. Let's jump over this thing. Oh, maybe we can't go over that. We might have to go and run around. But hopefully Mr. Man doesn't decide to come and visit us while we're out in his front lawn. We just need to go and put this through the other window and then we should be good to go. This is literally our last key that we need, guys. This is huge. Okay, up we go, and then we'll go and jump over this too. Good stuff. And now we just gotta go and drop this right off this photo. Nice, very secretive, I love it. So then let's go and switch back over to the first lady, and then we should be able to get this other secret room opened and see where it leads, dude. I don't know if this is like the ending. I really hope this isn't like already the end. That would be really sad, because we have so much more puzzles to go and solve. Like, a lot more codes to figure out and whatever else, too. Wait, what? How is that key still in there? Why does it sound like he's, like, next to us? Come on, go. Nice. And now let's make our way out of here. Let's check this out. I'm going to close this behind me. Just in case he wants to try to follow us. Oh, wait, it's left open? Oh, no, dude. Okay, so we are... What? What? Where's he at? Oh, no. We got to go. We got to go. We got to go. Um, I'm hiding in here. What was that sound, dude? Okay, so we got a big mystery thing there. But I don't have the guy 
to help out on this one. Because don't I need a magnifying glass to check that out? Or am I locked? Am I now locked down here? Oh, no way. <gasps> we got another doubloon! Okay, you know what? I'm fine with being locked down here if we got more golden doubloons. I am such a happy man with that. Okay, so let's check this little power thing. Is he coming? No, I think we're okay. It sounded like he was there. So we got a big power switch, and then what's on the top? Is there anything else that we can grab? Because I kind of want to climb to the top and see if we can find anything. But we might just have to go and pull the switch. So let's do it. All right. Power is pulled, and now we've opened up this other door, which looks like an incinerator. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wait. We got another code. 2793, which this is for the girl outdoors. Right? Let's see. Can I just go and turn this off? Oh, yes, I can. Let's just go and twist, 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 twist until we can get this open. Unless... Oh, I bet we have to pull the other one outside, right? Okay, so let's go and switch over to... Was it the batting girl or was it slingshot? I want to say it was batting girl. So let's go to bat girl. And then we should run down to, like, that little underground area, which we're actually already there. So this is perfect. So I just need to go back... Was it this way? I want to say it was over across this bridge. And then if we go and open this door, 2793 should be the code. Nine. Three. Perfect. And then I assume there's probably another twisty to go and help us out on the other one. And this... What the heck happened here? You look so sad. What happened here? Oh, did she die? Is this like a little memorial for the girl? Oh, that's so sad. Oh, sevens. Rest in peace, my man. Oh my gosh. That is actually really, really sad. Well, <laughs> let's go back to uh, <laughs> cranking the fire. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Did I turn it the wrong way? Oh, what? Wait, where am I at? Um... Where the heck am I? Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to be here. We're back in the house again? But what are we doing back in the house? And how do we even get here? Oh my gosh. Okay, so we need to climb across. But I need to jump. Okay, so let's go over here. Actually, can I still touch the ground? Yes, I can. Awesome. I want to go and look around and see if we can find any more doubloons. I want more of them. I want more doubloons. I don't know if there is any more over here, but this would be awesome. It's so trippy seeing this, like, from the upside-down angle, especially in the VR headset. Like, it's so freaking weird. Everything is upside down. Let's go and make our way up to the tippy tippy top. Yeah, this is trippy. We got some food over here, though. Look at this. Oh, snap. Oh, wait. This doesn't have a low gravity anymore, though. What? Wow. I love the low gravity vibes in this. It's so cool. Okay, we got a bunch of mannequins, and that's the photo that I took. Oh, snap. Look at that. This is definitely, like, bending, like, space and time, bro. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. <laughs> I'm gonna be completely honest. I don't think I'm supposed to be here in the house, but either way, I'm happy. Happy to check it out at least. Yeah. Can I, like, hit him with a bat? Huh. Nope. Can't do anything with the bat. <gasps> Wait a minute. What? Okay, we gotta sneak past the man. He's just taking a nappy poo next to the TV. I need to just be as quiet as possible to make sure that we don't wake him up. Please just don't wake up, dude. I just need you to keep sleeping. Is that going to make my way out of here? Okay. Do you have anything on you? Do you have like a doubloon on you? Okay. I don't think he has any doubloons. We should be all right on that part. I just want to make sure that we get our completionist if we can't come back. Okay, I'm just going to walk this way and make sure that he does not wake up. He's sleeping like... Oh, oh wait, what the heck? Oh, no. I can't open it, can I? What? Oh, no, dude. What's going on? This is like a huge nightmare. Oh, this is a huge... What? What's going on here? Oh, no. Stop. Where'd he go? Stop! Oh, my God! 
Oh, that actually jump scared me so bad. <laughs> Holy crap. Wait, she's Simmon! We lost the other kid! No! We actually lost her! She's a simming now! No! We got another simming kid! That is so rough, dude. Oh my god, no! So we already got this. Okay. So I'm trying to think of what's next to go and solve for our puzzles. Because we got a lot of these done. So I need to go back to the other girl. Or actually the guy, right? That was doing the incinerator? Or was it the first girl? No, it was her, right? No way! Batgirl's gone now! I thought she was gonna be like the last one alive! You gotta be kidding me. Well, let's make our way to the incinerator. Can we turn this again? Or no? How are we gonna get through this? Shoot, okay, so we need to go back to the main guy. It's telling me to go back here and see what to look at. So what do I have to check out? Let's see. So we got the other doors, the little twisties. Do each of these guys have? No, because that one's the blue one. And then this is the one from the other room where she went missing. But how do I get there? Okay, the windmill, blah, blah, blah. I just got to try to look at all these clues and figure out what to do, man. What is that? The vent? What does the vent do? I haven't been there yet. And I also don't think I can get there yet, right? Or is that Slingshot Girls? If that's Slingshot Girls, we might be able to do something. Okay. I haven't been over there yet. I want to see what that little, like, vent area is. Because I still haven't even visited that yet. Let's see what we can do. We gotta go and try to find that. I don't know where it'd be, but I would love to be able to go and find it. Okay, so we don't have anything there, which is fine. Um, we got the crowbar on that side. Good. Was it on the bottom floor? I don't even, rem like, remember where that thing was. I don't know if I have any other, like, any other things that I need to shoot. I guess we got the hammer. What would we, like, what could we do with the hammer? Because I remember the hammer was, like, over here, right? Where he dropped it off? Or no? Actually, I have no clue where that man put the hammer. To be completely honest. <gasps> Wait, the thing's open! No, it's not. Never mind. I lied. It's still tied on the other side. Shoot! Okay, so where else could we possibly go to... F Wait, he's literally chilling over here. What? What is he doing? What is the neighbor doing over here? Hello? We got the wrench. I don't know what the neighbor's doing, so I'm just going to leave him over there. And we got another grave here. Wait a second. I'm kind of curious, because I remember we found a watering pot earlier. Does it actually have water in it? Because we might be able to go and use that as a little, uh, as a little thing to water the flowers. I'm curious to see if it actually works. Okay, so we'll go and climb in here, but... Wait, did I throw it away? Where'd it go? No, we had the watering pot in here somewhere. I could have swore at least. Did I, like, throw it out of bounds? Whoops. Try again. Where did I throw the watering pot? Because I do not recall where it went. What is this? A little teapot? Got a little teapot there. Well, either way, I gotta... F oh, actually! Wait a second. How did I not see you? Perfect! Is that another gold doubloon? Oh, my Lanta. Come to me, you beautiful, beautiful coin. It is nice to have you. You look a lot bigger than usual. I don't know why it does, but it just does. Um, can we put this ladder up, though? I really wish we could just, like, push it up. No. Is there anything that we can do here? Oh! Oh, oh, I gotta figure it out now. Oh my gosh, dude. We just gotta lift it up this way. Oh, my... How did I not see that the first time I played this? Holy crap, dude. <laughs> I literally sat there at the ladder trying to figure out how to bring it up to the window, and now we got it all figured out. Let's go all the way up. Awesome. And then we'll jump up. And now we're back to this room. Oh, no, 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 no. Gotta go. No. Go, 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 go. Run. Okay, I think we're fine. I don't think he can do anything over here. 
I thought he was out at the garage. Is he running? Where's he at? I think we avoided him. God, I got so scared there. My voice cracked so bad. <laughs> I was terrified. We can hide on the bed? Oh my gosh, dude. Okay. Let's see. What do we have? I thought that was him for a second. No, you can't get me! I'm on the bed! No, oh, you can't get me! I lied! Don't tell me I'm also missing. Okay, we're good. Let's go back to Slingshot. And we need to go and adventure that. I think this is where Batgirl started, right? Oh, my hands! Oh, there we go. We're good. Okay, awesome. Now we're back. Let's go and climb back up to the top. I think this is where Batgirl originated, right? I want to say this is the Batgirl area. Is he still here? Don't you tell me that he's still here. Okay, that can't be opened. We got the radio here. We got a bunch of other little stuff. But I want to go and check this out. So let's go and push the door open. This is definitely the Batgirls. 20... Was it 2793 or 2693? I think it's 2693, right? 2793, maybe? Whoops. 93. There we go! Oh, snap! And then we hit the slingshot. Perfect. Let's go. Let's go and fall back down. Oh, that couldn't have worked any better, dude. And then we go and twist this, which allows us to go and transport the, uh... The one... Wait, what? Did that crash? No, it crashed! Right as things were getting good! Okay, so now we gotta, like, relive our steps. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding, dude. That was, like, the worst timing for that to crash! Let's try this autosave and see where it takes us. Let's pray to God. Let's pray that we're still, like, at least near where we were and have some of the coins that we collected. <gasps> oh, okay. Actually, this isn't too far back. We can make this work. I just have to get jump scared again. <laughs> Fun. I can't wait. Can't wait to get jump scared again. Why? Oh, wait, what? Oh, never mind. This is all new. We're all caught up. Oh, bro. I'm back to the dream world too, so she's going to get abducted as well. No. I don't want to get abducted. Let me out. <laughs> oh, no. I'm literally going to walk this lady to her death again. You gotta be kidding me, no! I'm not ready to go! I don't wanna leave yet. Like, Lily, that's me! Or is that my friend? That might not be the girl. Wait a second. We might be okay, guys. We might be okay! God, I love the verticality puzzles in this. This is awesome! Freaking love it! Nice. Okay, now, what the heck am I walking into? I'm gonna check over here just in case for any coins. I think we're good. Something's telling me it's going to be very ominous walking through this area. Whoa. Oh my god. Even though that it's like terrifying with everything going on, it's like oddly beautiful to look at all this stuff. Wow. Love it, man. I can't get enough of this game. Now I want a part two after this. I want another Hello Neighbor game. Cause I feel like we're like getting close to the end, man. I feel like we're getting very, very close to the end. And that's us, right? Or is that from the photo? What? Oh no. Wait, am I slingshot? I am. Oh my gosh, dude. Don't tell me I lose slingshot. I'm not ready to lose her yet. Gosh, this room looks huge. <laughs> like, I'm so tidy. Like, the walls are gigantic, and the ceiling's so high up. Oh my gosh. And you're telling me I have to walk down here? Oh, no way. No! What? Oh my god. What the heck? What? No, why? Why are you there? Is she gone too? That's two of the five that we've been able to use that have already gotten caught now. Don't tell me all the kids go simming. We gotta save them all. We got 12 of the 13 doubloons. We are so close to getting this ended. But where do we go next? <gasps> Wait, has that been opened? Wait a second. Can I go back to the main floor with the nerdy kid? Did he move the boxes finally? That's what it looks like next to the shovel. We might be able to go back inside and potentially... 
go through that bathroom door. Because I think... Or not the bathroom door, but you know what I mean. The uh, the one door where we had to go and put the fuses in. I think that room is now openable. Which would be amazing if that's the case. So if we go this way... We also got this open. Wait a second. But it looks like this door is now openable too. Right? Ah, uh, no. It was just that other door next to the shovel. It didn't have anything to do there. So I think we have to go in here. Because we got this open for all of them. That I can maybe pull the lever. Let's see. Maybe pull it down. No? Put it up? What does this do? I have no clue what this little thing does. Wait, he did move the boxes. Correct? So shouldn't we be able to go through the other door? He moved the boxes from there to lock the girl in. I mean, it should be here. It should be. We should be able to go through this other door. Like, honestly, that's the only thing that I can think of, is we have to get this door open. Like, that's the only thing that makes sense to me, is this is the door that we need to go to, which is on this side, and we can open this. Dude, okay, so we were just bugged before. Oh my gosh, dude. That sent me on a wild goose chase for so long, but now I know exactly what we have to do. So now we have to go back over to this door, and we'll do two, seven, nine, or two, seven, six, three. What was it again? Oh my god. I can't remember what it was. Oh god. Um let me let me go back to the other guy. We got it figured out now though. At least we got this like solved. Oh my god, for the longest time I, I tried to open the door initially when I saw that first thing it wasn't working. So I was so curious. 2793. 2793. 2793. 2793. 2793. It should be this one, right? 2793. 2793. 2793. 2793. Perfect. And now we're good to go. Oh, that man is coming, and I'm I'm not ready to die. Oh. I think he's like right next to us. We'll close the door, and then, oh no, the nerdy kid's gonna be gone too! I don't want him to go! I'm not ready to go! Oh god, boys. We made a big mistake. Now we're being transported to the home. Can I just leave? I already know what's gonna happen. <laughs> my man is about to die. Oh my god. Oh, this one's even creepier. There's... What? I feel like I'm in like a scene of like Scooby-Doo. Like all the people will be running across the doors. Oh my gosh, this is terrifying. Thank God at least. <gasps> I was gonna say, thank God the game actually looks pretty. But that still scared the crap out of me. Okay, please tell me that he's not gonna pop up over here. Please tell me. Is he over here? No, we can't even go in that area. Okay, so we have to just go straight for the window. Oh, no, dude. This is a bad, 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 bad idea. But we're gonna do it anyway. Wait, what? Are these all the kids? No! Can I just walk across? <gasps> it's a puzzle that way. That's genius. So you have to grab each of the dolls to climb across. Oh, that is so legit. I just gotta reach them. Reach! Wow, talk about a unique way to do a freaking puzzle. This is sick. Like, I don't know who thought of all these, like, puzzle designs, man, but I love this. This is seriously incredible. And then we have to go... I want to go up top first. Because I think we might be able to grab some of the planks and be able to climb to the tippy top. Let's see. So I'm just going to grab this. Can I grab some of the planks? I want to grab the yellow one. Oh, no coins. you got to be kidding me. I was hoping there's a coin there or something. All right, guys. I think it's time to go and climb in the window and see what it has to offer, man. Oh, dear God. Do I still have to climb or are we good? Okay, we can actually walk here. Awesome. Yeah, being the nerdy kid, I don't think this was the best idea to come and adventure in, like, probably the scariest area of this entire game. But to reach their own. Oh, my gosh, dude. I just love the level design. Seriously gorgeous. I'm not a fan of the jump scares, though. 
Please, Mr. Man. Please don't visit me as I'm just trying to walk through your home. I don't want to go simming. I really don't want to become a simming kid. I know I, I have my friends with me, but I guess you are the last one. And then we should be able to save them with the first chick. That's the plan. You will be saved, guys. I promise. Yeah. A little baseball mitt. Is there any other things that we can grab? Nope. We're going to baseball. Yes, I want the baseball. Give me the baseball. I want it. I want it. Oh, wait a minute. What? No, that would have been so cool. Wait, why does this look like our house? Is that our house? I can't remember. Down we go. All right, at least we got like some fun slides and stuff. That's nice. Oh, is that me and my dad, I assume? Okay, this guy is a weirdo. Weirdo. Oh, this is, like, really eerie. <laughs> oh, this makes me so uncomfortable. It feels like each of these, like, cutouts are, like, literally staring into my soul. Oh, my God. And then we got a present. Can I open it? What? Where's he at? Nope! Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go! Run, 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 Go, 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 go! Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going! No! He got me! You gotta be kidding! I thought I had him. Does that mean he's gone too forever? No! It's only up to us two to save everyone else! Oh my gosh, man. But it's time. Guys, I think we're nearing the finale of this entire series. We're about to get this thing done. The fire is now gone, and we're able to go and proceed with more of the story, man. Finally, we got this thing open. We did have to go and sacrifice all of our friends, but what needed to be done needed to be done. What? Why did the light flash? Oh, stop. Oh, stop. Oh, this is so creepy. At least we got a flashlight. I mean, that's nice. It sounds like all the floorboards are like creaking and everything. Am I gonna be able to save anyone? Oh, this just got like, if the game was this way the entire time, I don't know if I'd be able to play it. Just because how creepy it is. Is that the, is that the last doubloon? Oh no, I thought it was a doubloon. I think it's just like the, the drain. Oh, this is so freaking creepy. Why does it still look like the same layout? Except just, like, darker and creepier. Okay, so we got that for the power thing, which we need to go to that room and pull the power switch. Okay, so we need to go back. We'll run to this side, and we should be able to hopefully get that power switch pulled. Which I think is over here, right? That's what it looked like, at least. Let's go and check it out. So we got another basement area that we can go to. Anything else over here? I just want to listen to... God, those doors! So creepy. Wait, this, this just led to the same area. So I do have to go through the basement. Okay. So let's go down this way and see if we can maybe get that thing opened. Oh my gosh, can you not be any louder? Jeez Louise, dude. Oh, this is so freaking creepy. I want to get out of here as like fast as possible. Am I stuck? I could have swore there was like something to climb. Okay, so we can't climb anything here, so maybe we can't go this way. I lied. I could have swore that was probably the way that we had to go, but... We got another TV? What's the TV doing? This is so eerie. I literally feel like I'm in like a Courage the Cowardly Dog episode. Muriel. Okay, so we've already been in this room. Let's just go and check all this stuff out. I think I'm just gonna go and like wander around and try to pull as many of the switches as possible. I don't think the man's here yet. I think we can just, like, go and adventure around for a bit. Oh, my gosh, dude. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. Screw it. Unless... Oh, I probably can't go up here, can I? Shoot. Okay, so I need to go back up this way. Go up again. And then up again. So I need to go down and around. Go down and around town. And then you do this and this. And where the frick do we go? Man... I am so freaking lost and terrified. But we got our first switch. Good. Oh my gosh, what the heck? That 
That is so loud. Okay. And then let's go and run and jump across. Nice. Saves so much time that way. And I think, actually, this might save us a lot of time to be able to... Oh, never mind. I could have swore that was pro... Wait! So are you telling me this entire time I could have just jumped across instead of going around? Oh, my... <laughs> well, at least we know now. There'll be a speedrunning technique. Be all for speedrunning. I'm a speedrunner now. Achoo! Nice. Okay, yeah, we can easily speedrun it now. We got it all figured out. Um, so we got this one here, which... That goes down below. Let's see. What to do? What to do? So we're back at square one. Because we just got, like, one of the levers pulled. But how do we get to those other rooms? That's my only question. Because I feel like I'm just doing loops. Just doing some loopy loops. Because I can't get to that other side where that other lever was. So I could have swore it was this way, right? I feel like I'm just missing something, like, super obvious, but... We'll see. Can I open this? Oh, we have definitely not been over here. What the heck? How have I not climbed to this room, like, at all? I checked every other door, like, 40 times, and I'd never seen this one. Okay, nothing in the oven. Anything below? Nope. So we are clear there. I just want to make sure that we don't miss the last coin. I feel like it's going to be, like, near us. All right, here we go. This is where we needed to go. Nice. Finally, we got it figured out now. Good stuff. So then we can go and probably climb the ladder, correct? Or actually, you know what? We could probably push it up. There we go. Nice. Okay, so now we got the ladder to go up to allow us to get to that lever, which is right across from us, which I gotta assume. You know what? It probably wants us to do a climbing puzzle, but I'm gonna yeep myself and see if we can do it. Oh, dang, dude. Oh, they did not plan for this. Come on. Let's see if we can climb it. Oh, dude! You can totally climb the fireman's pole this way. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, we didn't even have to do the other puzzle. That is the beauty of virtual reality, dude. No joke. Oh, my God. And then they have the fan to go and get back to the other side. I love it. Oh! These puzzles are just, like, way too fun. Especially in, like, a VR setting. Like, I, I can't get enough of it. Seriously. It's just too fun. Uh, is there anything that we can do in this room other than... You know what? I think that's the only thing that we needed. I didn't see any of the other gold doubloons, so I think we're probably ready to go and make our way back out of this place. So let's go and climb up top and see where this leads us. This looks new. I definitely have not been here. Then I want to assume I can probably just jump to this, swing across, and then we got our third lever! Nice stuff! Now the door should be open and ready to go. Oh my gosh, that took me far too long. It should not have taken as long as it did. But we got it figured out. That is what matters. So let's go and make our way through this. And now it's time for us to see that big boy door. I still don't know how this man had so much like of this stuff in his home. I could have swore that boot was moving. No? Maybe I'm just freaking out a little bit. I might be a little bit spooked. Not gonna lie, I might be a little bit spooked out. But it's fine. Everything's fine. It's just a normal home. No one's gonna be here. It's just... Me. Yeah, we're probably dead. Oh, please don't be here. Please don't be here. Please don't be here. Oh my gosh, no. It's another trap. And down we go. Oh my god, dude. The scale of this place is huge. Oh my gosh, man. Yeah, we're uh, we're probably dead. We're back to the dream world. We made our way back to the dream world. Who's that? Wait a minute, what? What's going on? No. Ripperoni pepperoni. We got a, we got sad boy hours over here. All right, let's go and make our way down the hallway, man. I am not ready for what's in store for us now. Oh, dude. Horror games just, they hit different, man. I swear. I love the Hello Neighbor franchise. I, I used to love watching them. But playing it is a whole new story, dude. Oh, my lanta. What do we got here? What the heck? It's like an entire thing of the neighborhood. This guy had some obsession 
with the freaking neighborhood. No joke. We got a weirdo on our hands. What the heck? Oh, this is it. All right. It was good knowing you. Oh, what? No. Oh, the kids are in here. Is there any way that we can save them? No way. And they're just like staring blankly. What's wrong with them? That's my cap? What's my cap doing here? Oh no! Really right as I grab my cap too. Don't tell me. Now it's just left up to the kid in the clubhouse. What? The mystery one? What's the mystery kid? Is this the one that actually got abducted? Whoa, wait a minute. We got all the missing kids. Look, the Simmon. This is definitely the end. And then that is probably going to be my photo, huh? Dear God. Guys, I think we have now officially reached the ending of Hello Neighbor. I'm kind of nervous to see what's in store for us. But guys, let's do this thing. Are we able to actually open the door now? No? What the heck are you? What? Oh my god, you are so terrifying. What? What? You can actually interact that way. It makes you want to pick this one, but I want this one. He doesn't want me to take the other one. What? How did you even get that to work in VR that way? Dude, that interactability is nuts. I've never seen something like that in VR, dude. Okay, I'll grab it. Let's go. Wait, is this my new walkie-talkie? Oh, I can switch into him? Oh, no, that's sick. What even am I? Oh, I see now. That's how we transfer as the walkie-talkies now. Oh, that's clever. Okay, got it. I got it figured out now. I don't know what this big raven thing is, but I guess we'll figure it out. I'm so tall. It feels so weird to be this tall now. God, what even am I? Okay, now this is getting super, super weird. We got a key? Oh! Okay, I'm guessing that went to the kid, right? Maybe? I'm gonna- I'm gonna say it probably went back to the kid. No? I was hoping maybe the key got him out. Hmm... Interesting. Interesting! Let's go and make our way back to this other room. Because we got the key teleported at least. And then we gotta figure out where to actually go with this guy. Do I have to somehow make it up to that other door? Okay, I think I have to go back to the kid. Oh wait, what? Oh, I'm in a different room now. Oh snap, okay. Now we gotta figure it out. So we got the key. Let's go and throw that bad boy right inside of here. And also, I want to check around and see if there's anything else that we can maybe find. We got a little little flower pot. Got all these other photos taped over the TVs. What about here? Anything inside of this? I love the music, by the way, too. The music is so good. All right, let's make our way. Make our way through it. And that looks like my friend. Okay, that is actually really creepy, the way her like head follows me around. But how do I get you out of here? I gotta find a way. Let's see. So we got the lever up on the top. So maybe I gotta go through this room. Can I grab your flashlight? Do you mind if I take your flashlight? Ah, oh, shoot, dude. That would have been incredibly helpful for this dark room that I'm about to walk in. Let's see what the raven's doing. Okay, so it looks like he's in a different room as well. So we got another lever that we can go and pull. Nice. Is that gonna let someone out? It might have got the girl out. Wait a second. Let's go and check. I want to see if we actually released. We did! Good stuff! Nice! Let's go! Oh, what? I guess she's not gonna give us a, a fist pound. Oh, is she gonna open this up? Why could I not do it? What? Well, either way. Oh, n what? Are you telling me I can't go in there too? She went up top. Oh, and then it opened up this little path. Oh my gosh, I am a blind old boy. How did I not see that? Okay, and then we'll climb all the way up to the top. It's just so dark. <gasps> Holy shoot, dude. 
You scare me more than the neighbor. Holy crap. It is so dark in this entire house, man. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna follow you. I'm gonna I'm gonna hope that you're leading me to the right spot. Is this another one of our friends, maybe? Oh, where'd she go? Okay. I think she ran this way. Nice. And then we want to go up the ladder. Got it. Okay, let's check it out. I really wanted to see more of the area, though. It's so cool. We like a, it's like a whole maze. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is sick. Literally, you got a whole like top down of the maze now. This is legit. I want to see if I can find that other coin, though. I feel like it's got to be over here. Okay, we're good. So this is actually a top-down maze, but also another maze to go and get to the other side. It's clever. Perfect. Just wanted to jump to make sure that we weren't uh, possibly going to fall there. And then we should be good. Awesome. Easy money. Let's go. All right, so we're through the maze, and now we're in a gigantic freaking room again. Okay, wait a minute. What do we have here? Can I open this up? Yeah, come on. I couldn't open the- couldn't open the thing. Wait, this is another key room. Okay. So we gotta get all of the keys. This is so freaking creepy. Okay, well, up the stairs we go! And see what else we can possibly find over in this area. Oh my god. Okay, so we have so many doors that we actually need to go and unlock. How are we supposed to go and get all this? I will check this door first. Let's see if possibly we can find something to run into. I just need to find one of those keys. That's all I want. Just need to go and find one of the keys. And also, there's probably another switch that we can go and pull here, right? Unless, oh my gosh, am I dumb? Was it just like right up here that I had to pull up? I think it is. Okay, so let's go and run across to the other room. This should be unlocked. And then we just pull a lever on this side. Easy money. Or, wait a minute, we need to get a bunch of fuses. Okay, so we need to get- oh, What?! I didn't even see him! What?! Where was he?! I didn't even see him! Like, anywhere! Dear God! Yeah, that- that seriously jump scared me so bad. Okay, so we gotta just be, like, quick about this and make sure that he doesn't find us. What? Okay, let's go through this room. Is it the red light? It is! That's where you get caught! Okay. So you can't step in the red light. If you step in the red light, that's where you get caught by the man. Got it. That makes so much sense. So I could have easily gotten caught in that one. Okay, you know what? I think I'm just gonna go to this first door and see what else we can maybe find in this room. We got the mannequin that's just chilling there. We'll go and jump down to the bottom. And maybe we can find ourselves a good old little key that we need. That leads back to the same room. What? Okay. That is so weird to me. So much looping. Okay, so we got one of the first things that we can get over here. But how in the heck are we supposed to get across? I'm not going to be able to make that jump. Unless I walk in my setup. Let's see. Oh, snap! I don't think that's how I was supposed to do it. But we did it. I walked in my setup and jumped. I'm going to throw the fuse to the other side, too. Nice. Okay. So now let's walk and jump. Oh, we didn't get it that time, though. Shoot. Is it still over here? Nice. Okay, I think we might have cheesed it. I don't think that's how we were supposed to do the puzzle. But we got it done. That's all that matters. So we got our fuse. And then we just got to go and place that in the other little thing here, which was on the opposite side, correct? Was it over here? I can't remember where that fuse box was. I think it was just here, right? Nice. Okay, so first fuse. Let's throw it in. Awesome. And then I'll jump back down and see if we can maybe find some other rooms with more fuses. Fuses! We need to get that door open. That's another spot that we'll get caught, so we can't go down that way yet. We've already been there. Where else? Maybe this room? I don't know if we've checked this out. No, it leads back to the same area. Duh. Okay, and then we got the big key door. So where else can we go? I am so confuzzled. Is there anything that's hiding back here? Nope. Let's go check upstairs again. But what other doors have we not been to? I don't think we checked this room out yet. So let's check this one out and see if it needs a key. 
It does. Okay, we need the green and the purple, I guess. And where to go? Oh, the raven! Duh! I probably need to go to the raven now. Let's try the raven. Oh, I'm in the same room, but it's upside down. Oh, that is so clever. I love this, dude. The way that they actually incorporated all these puzzles to actually, like, use, your, like, your partners or your friends on here, like, it's amazing. So clever. It's something that I actually haven't seen done in VR. Like, if this was a multiplayer game, I can't imagine how freaking fun it would be to, like, have a co-op thing with it. It'd be like, uh, is it half and a half? Is that the game I'm thinking of? Where basically two players would have to, like, play in the same time to basically, like, unlock certain puzzles and work together to beat the game. Like, if you were able to do that in this, that would be so incredible. Oh, what? Okay, so that might have went back to our player, hopefully. Is there anything else that we can grab? I don't think so. Down we go! Perfect. And now we should be back to our main character. But, where's that other fuse? Oh, it just goes back to the bird cage. Nice. Okay, so we need to make our way all the way back to the top. The dippy dippy top. And then all we gotta do is go and place this other fuse, and then we only got one more to go. Dude, this is probably one of my favorite puzzles so far. Like, I am digging the atmosphere of this so much. It is so cool. Like, not to mention, it's, like, a lot darker than, like, all of the color that we've had, like, this entire time. So it's just, like, I don't know, it's something new. Like, I was not expecting this, like, in the slightest on here. So we need to go back to our main character. Let's switch back to this man. I gotta see what else we can possibly do in this area. Because apparently we need another fuse, but how do we... Oh, wait! I have not been in this room, like, at all. Oh, give me a moment. Wait a freaking second. Wait, did he hang a chair? <laughs> Why is that hanging on the freaking little, little door hangers? It's hilarious, or little wall hangers. Oh, now we're on the other side. Okay, you know what? This is good. I think we're going to be able to get our last fuse now, guys. Let's do this thing. We just got to be safe. I definitely do not want to run into that. Speak of the devil. Um... Is there another door? I don't know if there's anything else that we can do on this side. Can I climb on top of stuff to get to that ceiling fan? We might be able to do that. Let me switch back to Raven and see if Raven's got anything to do. There we go. Yep. Okay. So now we got a new spot to actually go to in Adventure. Is there any other coins? Got to make sure that we're not missing out on any of those. Because if I can't come back here, it would suck if we didn't complete all of that. Oh, the wall's like sideways on this one. What? Okay, so I need to figure out a way to climb this. We got it over here. Can I climb up? Oh, that is so freaking cool. Okay. So I think we got to start over here. And climb on the cupboards. Oh, man. So many grabbables and, like, interactable objects. Yes. See, this is what VR games need more of, man. These verticality puzzles are literally what are make and break for some titles. Because, like, I feel like so many games are linear. And, like, I feel like Hello Neighbor's one of them that actually plays into its full environment. And, like, having this in a VR headset, like, it really puts you into uh, the game that you're playing when you're able to go and interact, like, you know, on all four sides of, like, the cube, dude. Like, four-dimensionally, like, that's so fun. But where... Oh, there's the fuse. Okay, awesome. We got the other fuse. And now we can switch back to our main character. And hopefully be able to put this last fuse in where we need it. So it should be on this side. So we gotta figure out a way to get this to our friends, which I assume, actually, you know what? We can just walk right back up. I was thinking that we were stuck, but we're actually good. So we can just walk back up the stairs, we'll go and throw in this third fuse, and then we should be ready to go and open up that other door and hopefully start collecting all the keys that we need for this man, because we definitely need to go and get that bad boy done. Get that out of the way and call her good. So let's go and throw this in. Three, two, one. Boom, boom, boom. And now we can actually go on the other spots too. Nice. We got a big lever that we can pull too, so we might as well go and grab that. Gotta see what it does, right? What does this say? Radio broadcast? I think that's what it says. Anything else in this room? Definitely got some hints that are laying around, but... I just want to check everything out. It's, like, so fun to be able to, like, see it in, like, this, this scale, man. I love it. <gasps> Wait, this is the friend that we were, we've been hunting for this entire time. Okay. This is the one that we got to free. 
Uh, how do we do so? Do I go back to Raven? Let's see what Raven can do. Okay, yes, we are definitely in another room. And this is a really weird one. We're literally... Oh, what? Don't tell me it actually walks this way. That is legit. So, like, this is literally the floor. Oh, my. This, like, it throws your perspective off so much. Like, now we're, like, walking on, like, a ceiling, but technically we're, like, on the floor. Like, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. It's so trippy in the headset. Like, you, you gotta try it in your actual headset and, like, experience the game yourselves. Because, like, I'm sure watching it on, like, a flat screen is not the same as actually playing here. Because this is just... Like, it throws my perspective off so much like this could be the floor like I, I don't know how to explain it it's so weird like i could basically sit here and then look up and now it looks flat <laughs> like I, I don't know how to explain it it's like one of those perspective things that it just it plays with your brain it makes you think like you're actually standing that way let's go nice we got another friend added which i don't know what he's doing he's gonna oh he's pushing the bookshelf okay i see you dude Good eye, good eye. And then we got another friend over here. It's the nerdy kid. Oh, he's shivering so bad. <laughs> Look at him. You poor, poor man. Okay, we need, we need to get you out of here, okay? We're going to save you. We're definitely going to save you. Where, where did this guy go? What? Okay, he's getting out of the house. Got it. So each of the people that are, like, running through the vents, those are the ones that we saved. Got it. Um, so we're back in this room. Let's go and free this guy. But where can we go here? Oh. I fell all the way to the bottom. How do we get up to that? Unless do it. Oh, you know what? I bet I have to pull the lever on my main guy. I see. I see now. We need to get back here. And then we can climb on the other end and push him over to use him to get to this. Got it. Okay. That took me far too long to get figured out, but we got it. Nice. I think we like got it on accident, but we got it figured out. And then we got the nerdy kid. Let's go. Yes. All right, welcome back, buddy. It's good to have you. Now go and climb through the vent and get... Oh, I guess you're looking for more secrets. Okay, interesting. What do you see, man? Do you see any secrets? <laughs> I love the way you walked with, like, his little hunchback. Oh, wait a minute. Is there something on the photo? Oh, another key! Good freaking eye, dude. Good stuff. Awesome. Well, <laughs> he's magnifying his thumb. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, well, we freed the other one, and we got a purple key, it looks like. Awesome. So let's go and make our way back, and then we can go and actually unlock that other door and figure out where this leads. Let's check it out. This is going to be a long episode. So sorry, guys. If you uh, if you expected just, like, another hour-long one, this is probably going to be about double, to be straight-up honest. Um. Okay, so I think... Is this the purple room, or is this blue room door? I'm not too sure, to be honest. I'm gonna assume this is purple. Yes. And then we gotta go and find the green one. Or a blue one, maybe? Yeah, we gotta go get blue. So let's switch back to Raven and see what else he's got to offer. So we got another room this way. Oh, wait, it only does the rooms that you're in. Okay, so I need to jump down and check out some of these other ones that go upside down. So, like, maybe here I could switch in. And this would put me on the roof of this room. Oh my god. Okay. I was not paying attention to this, like, at all. On, like, the way it actually worked. I just thought it was spawning me to a random room. Okay. So then, I'd probably want to go... Oh, this is so trippy. Hey guys, post-editing Brandon here. So, apparently I managed to completely break the game during this segment. As you guys can see, I went to switch into my character, but he was somehow glitched through the wall. And then he proceeded to fall out of the map and completely reset the level. So basically, I had to start back from scratch and go all the way through this level. What? Did it start me all the way over? No way. I think it bugged. I fell through, like, the entire map. But things still worked out, and now we're here. All right, so apparently my game glitched out, so I had to go and run through, like, this entire level once again and get all the way caught back up. But we are back, and things should be good. But, oh my gosh, what is going on in this room? All right, so we got Batgirl and Slingshot. But the only problem is, is I don't think I can do anything with these characters yet. Can I unlock them? Maybe with Raven? Let's see if Raven can do anything over in this area, because he would be incredibly useful at the moment. Let's see. So we got the chains going all wonky mode. 
Is there anything that we can do in terms of climbing? Yes! I think I do see some of them that you can climb. Perfect. Let's go and jump on top of that. Come on! Dude, they blend in so well, I almost didn't even see it. All right, here we go. Climb up to the top. Okay, there we go. Awesome. And then, can I go and run across this other side, maybe? Ooh, I see. Okay, we got a lot of stuff to go and pay attention to here, because we got the lever on that end. Can we go on top of this? Oh, that is clever. Okay, so maybe we can jump from this onto that other ledge, or maybe just grab the clock. Oh, there we go. Okay, and can I grab any other things off of this, though? I don't know if I'll be able to reach anything. Yeah, I don't know where else I can maybe go. If I could launch, that'd be awesome, but... I don't know if there's anything that I can do in this area. No grab points there. We got this on... Here. Can I jump across that other lever? Okay, boys. It is time to utilize the beauty of virtual reality. What we're gonna do... Is that lever, I think if we actually walk in our setup as we jump, we should be able to actually grab it. I'm hoping that we'll be able to time this right. Ready, set, go. Nice. Oh, wait, did I not get it down? Oh, you gotta be kidding. Okay, we can do it. We can do it. I believe. Come on. Third time's a charm. Let's do it. Oh, we got it. Nice. I think we got her out. Right? Or did it not stay down? Is it not all the way down? I could have swore we got it. No? Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so this main puzzle here, I'm just supposed to go as my main character, fly up this way, then grab this, all right, that makes this a lot easier. Oh my gosh. I was sitting there trying to do like the running method. This is so much easier. So we'll go and swap this up like so. We'll get her out. Nice. And then we can use slingshot probably to go and hit the target. Correct? Let's see what she can do. Welcome back. Let's go. We got another one saved. So now you just got to hit that target right over there. Yes, do it. Get her done. Is that going to release the other girl, too? What does that do? How do we get up to that? Oh, we might be able to do it this way. Okay, there we go. Now this should hopefully fix it. Perfect. Okay, now she should be able to get out, right? Oh, it opened the clock. Oh. So now we got all the gears there, but what can we do with this? Oh, this is probably for Raven, huh? This probably allows Raven to grab something else different on this. Let's see. Since we're on the bottom, we'll have to climb up to the tippy top now. Which is over on... I'm on the opposite end. Oopsies. We're gonna go run to this side. Climb up to this. Grab this bad boy. And now, let's make it all the way to the tippy top. I think I got this puzzle figured out. It took me way too freaking long to get this done. And climb up. Awesome. And now... We got the clock that we can use, which I don't know what we can necessarily do on this end. So what can I do over here? Is there literally anything? Oh, I can climb across using the gears. Okay, got it. Gotcha, figured out now. It took me a little bit. My brain isn't at 100% today, but we're getting it figured out slowly and surely. Um, okay, so then this, let's me go down on this one. Which then lets me go to there. Okay, got it. So I need to walk on top of this quickly. Awesome. And now, what do I do over on the side? Is this just for like another lever? I feel like this was just for another lever. Oh, it's another key. Oh my gosh. Okay. That was all for the second key, dude. Holy cow. That was some work to get done. Holy crap. But how do we get the girl out? That's my only question is, bad girl's still stuck. So I wonder if we have to go to like another room to help get her cage open? I'm not too sure to be honest. But either way, let's go make our way all the way back to the tippy tippy top. We'll go and get this other door unlocked, and then we gotta save bad girl, dude. We gotta get all of the friends out of here. We gotta save each and every one of them. Let's go and chuck this in the lock. Twist it. I'm so short. 
I can't. There we go. Awesome. And what do we got in here? Wait. Are we just gonna leave Batgirl there? Is she not gonna leave? Is she not able to leave? Oh, what am I looking at? What the heck? This thing's huge. It's a bunch of mattresses. What am I looking at? Oh, is he sleeping on top? All the raven feathers too? Can I climb to the top? I want to check this out. So ominous. It's like a big fort. Okay, I guess we probably have to go switch back to raven. I see the desk over there. And then what's sleeping on the top? We got the neighbors sleeping on top of all the mattresses there. And then this... Oh snap, that's not good. He's got the big key actually. No, that is really good. What? I feel like I'm in like a lucid dream or something, dude. What is going on? Come here, neighbor. Give me the key. Give me the key. Give it to me. Come back here. Oh, he's scared of me. I'm the scary one now. So now I have to chase him for that key. Oh, he's mine. Oh, wait, what? Wait, now I'm normal. Wait a second. So he ran through the other room with a gigantic key. What the heck? It was huge. And now you're mine. It's payback time. Nowhere to run, Mr. Neighbor. Come back here. Now I'm the nightmare. Say hello to Mr. Raven. Oh my gosh, what? How did you run through that? Okay, that was weird. Can I go through this room? Oh, dude, this is such a cool way to have this work. I love it. We gotta find the neighbor. We gotta chase him down. You're not going anywhere. Stop your running. You were terrorizing these kids and made all of them go simming. So now it's time for you to go simming, Mr. Mister. All right? Make your way over here. Come on. Come here, bucko. Oh, I guess we have to go through the other door. Got it. Okay, let's go this way. And we're gonna meet him on the other side. This dream world is so crazy, dude. Like, what the heck? Ooh, I almost fell off the edge. Okay, we're still good. <laughs> the way the rooms warp. What the heck? It's like, it's smooth as butter, dude. I love it. Okay. I want to continue chasing, but I do want to check this just in case if there is any coins. Okay, we're good. And on we go. Mr. Neighbor. What are you doing in the window? Now I'm the one who's doing the scaring. All right? You've been scaring these kids too much. Now it's time for me to get my payback. It's my revenge. Look at all the freaking posters, dude. Holy crap. There's just so much. Then we just go and jump across this way, I assume. Oh my god, dude. Oh, what the heck's going on? What am I looking at? <laughs> Neighbor? Booga booga! But actually, like on a real note, where am I and what am I doing? Wait, is this the basement? Why does this look like the basement? Oh, this is bad. What? Okay, something is not normal here. The raven, what's he doing? What? He's not after me, is he? Was he? I think he's still a friend. Should I give him his toy back? Oh, he gives me the big key! Let's go. We got the we got the red key, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see what's beyond the door and check this out. Wait, what? Is this another one of the missing kids? Do we save him? That is the end of Hello Neighbor. What happened to Bad Girl? She's still stuck in the cage. Is she just left there to die? Man, I didn't think the ending was going to come that quickly. Oh, I wanted more. But either way, that was such a fun freaking like chase sequence at the end there. Like we became like the jump scare now. Like that was sick. Guys, that is Hello Neighbor Search and Rescue VR. I just have to say this was an absolutely like an absolute blast to play in the VR set. And like the way that they involved and like introduced the verticality into like the level design and puzzles was so freaking clever man i loved it 
Like, that was so cool. Like, especially that last sequence where you were, like, basically walking through the warped rooms and then, like, you would be on the wall or you'd be walking the floor. Like, it just... I don't know how to explain it, but it's just something that you don't really see done in VR and let alone done well. Like, that was incredible. The only thing is, like, I feel like there definitely is a little bit more polishing that needed to be done. I caught myself clipping out of the map quite a bit in the game, but overall, it wasn't something that could, like, stop me from playing. It only happened, like, maybe three or four times. But, like, regardless, like, that could be something that's a make or break for some people. But for the most part, the actual, like, the story of it was so cool. And to be able to experience the Hello Neighbor universe in a VR environment, like, this was just... Such a treat to be a part of, man. So if you guys did end up enjoying this and would like to see more content made on the channel, I definitely do recommend it going and clicking that beautiful subscribe button. And it looks like we got another thing there. The Simming Kid. But what happened to Batgirl? Isn't she still stuck in there? Wasn't she supposed to, like, break through the wall and, like, run? But she was stuck in the cage. So what's she gonna do? But anyways, guys, that was the Hello Neighbor Search and Rescue VR series. If you guys did end up enjoying it, would like to see more content made on the channel, then be sure to smash that mother fracking thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, so you guys can stay up to date with all of your content we post. Well, than that, guys, as always, keep it toasty, my friends. Laters! I got some shells for you, more. Oh, it's in his eye! Oh, I fixed it! I would have no. died! Well, right no, here. No. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm getting it! Yeah! Why in the heck do you not have clothes. You took my banana, and now you must suffer the consequences! <laughs>